In this coastal village of Nagapattinam in Tamil Nadu, shrimp farming has been the mainstay of aquaculture farmers like Siva Sankaran. Siva has been farming shrimps for the last 23 years. Basically, fish is the first interest in the money making. Somebody is a shrimp farmer. That's why I'm going to travel. 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 I'm going to India is the second largest producer of white leg shrimp in the world, averaging at 1 million metric tons a year. But over the recent years, farmers like Siva have been struggling to make profits. In a way, aqua industry is a very good industry. In a way, we have to pay for a few years. If you want to pay for this aqua industry, you can pay for it. ஒரு நிலை தான் இருக்கு என்ன இரநூறு ரூபாய்க்கு உற்பத்தி பண்ணா இரநூறு ரூபாய்க்கு தான் விற்கிறோம் இதுமே ஹண்ட்ரட் பர்சன்டேஜ் கரெக்டா வந்துச்சுன்னாதான் இது ப்ரௌன் கலரா இருக்கு Diseases in cultured shrimp often occur due to the presence of pathogens. Pathogens that already exist in the brood stock brought from the wild or ones that build up because of unhealthy conditions while in captivity. பேலன்ஸ் பண்ண முடியாத ஒரு டிசீஸ்னா ஒயிட் ஃபீக்கல் டிசீஸ் சொல்லுவாங்க அது இருக்கிறதுனால இன்னைக்கு இண்டஸ்ட்ரி ரொம்ப கீழே போயிடுச்சு Shrimp farmers here have also been struggling with rising production costs, Seva tells us. And among them, the most significant is the cost of food. Feed rate is about 70% of the food. But in total, feed cost is about 70% of the food. 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 நான் தேடக்கூடிய வழின்னு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஆல்டர்னேட்டிவ் ஃபீடுக்கு பதிலாக வேறு ஏதாவது கொடுத்து குறைச்சிக்கலாமா மார்க்கெட்டில் காய்கறி மார்க்கெட்டில் கிடைக்கக்கூடிய காய்கறி வேஸ்ட்டு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா என்னோடய டைரி ஃபார்முக்கு யூஸ் பண்ண முடிஞ்சிது ஷிம் ஃபார்முக்கு மற்றதை கம்பேர் பண்ணுறப்ப இதில் கொஞ்சம் டிஃபிகல்ட்டிஸு இதில் ப்ரோட்டீனோட பர்சன்டேஜ் அதிகமாக தேவைப்படுது நம்ம சில டெக்னிக்கை யூஸ் பண்ணி நம்மளே ஓனாக ப்ராடக்ட் தயார் பண்ணி ஃபீடுக்கு பதிலாக கம்பெனி ஃபீடை ஒரு பர்சன்டேஜ் ஒரு செவன்ட்டி பர்சன்டேஜ் ஒரு சிக்ஸ்டி பர்சன்டேஜ்னால் ஒரு ஃபார்ட்டி பர்சன்டேஜ் நம்ம ஓன் ப்ராடக்டை யூஸ் பண்ணி காஸ்ட்டை குறைக்க முடிஞ்சது ரஃப்லி தேர்ட்டி பர்சன்ட் ஆஃப் எனி டிபிக்கல் ஃபீட் ஃபார்முலேஷன் ஃபேட் டு ஷ்ரிம்ஸ் இஸ் மேட் ஆஃப் வாட் இஸ் கால்ட் ஃபிஷ் மீல் அ ரிட் சோர்ஸ் ஆஃப் ப்ரோட்டீன் ஃபிஷ் மீல் இஸ் வேர் ஷ்ரிம்ஸ் ட்ரா தேர் ப்ரோட்டீன் ரிக்வயர்மெண்ட்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் மேட் ஃப்ரம் ட்ராஷ் ஃபிஷ் ஓ த பை கேட்ச் ஆஃப் வைல்ட் ஃபிஷ் It is also known to have relatively high energy content and is rich in minerals and essential fatty acids. But global indices have been indicating a saturation in fish meal production. And as Dr. Amba Sankar from the Central Institute Brackish Water Aquaculture explains, this is primarily because of the pressures from a rapidly expanding aquaculture industry. if you look at the global fish meal production for the last uh, one or two decades if you look at that it uh, either fluctuates around 5 to 6 million times but whereas aquaculture has recorded a double digit growth of around 10 to 11 percent over the over the period indirectly on the other side fish meal is stagnating the requirement of feed is increasing that means no other way if you wanted to sustain that we have to find a suitable alternative for fish meal idu vand company feed pellet type இது இது நம்மளோட ஓன் ஃபீடு இது இது இன்செக்ட் மிக்ஸ் பண்ணது இது ஃபெர்மெண்டடாக இருக்கிறப்ப ஸ்மெல் கம்மியாக இருக்கும் டைரெக்டாக ராவாக நம்ம பாயில் பண்ணால் பார்த்திங்கன்னா ஸ்மெல் கொஞ்சம் ஜாஸ்தியாக இருக்கும் இன் அஸ்ட் ஃபார் ஆல்டர்னேட்டிவ்ஸ் த சயின்டிஃபிக் கம்யூனிட்டி ஆஸ் வெல் ஆஸ் ஆண்டர்பிரனரியல் ஃபார்மர்ஸ் லைக் சிவர் ஆர் டேர்னிங் த சைட் டுவர்ஸ் இன் அன்யூஷுவல் சொல்யூஷன் இன்செக்ட் ஃபார்மிங்
We are now in Bengaluru, roughly 400 kilometers from Siva's village, where a startup is trying to leverage insect proteins. Ultra Nutri is a company whose primary focus is the black soldier fly. At their 6,000 square feet facility in Hoskote, the company produces about one ton of insect meal every month using proprietary biotechnology. There are actually two benefits of black soldier fly. One is definitely its nutritional aspect. But the other aspect which is less explored and where we have put a lot of focus is their ability to fight infection. Now the way this insect evolved in nature, it was actually a scavenger of organic material, a dead animal somewhere, a rotten fruit somewhere, which means the insect larvae evolved to thrive in a microbially harsh environment. So it developed the most sophisticated immune mechanism of all invertebrates. When these defense peptide enriched insects are fed to shrimps, we have shown at lab level that the immunity of the shrimps significantly goes up by which they actually become more resistant to diseases. Preparing substrates or insect food is the first step to insect farming. At Ultra Nutri, this is made from organic waste, thereby playing its part in waste management. We have started with bagasse and coffee husk, but this technology can be cross applied to other agri residues like corn cobs, rice stem, wheat stem, and any form of agri residues. But how does one rear these insects at scale? Mateen Sait, Chief Operating Officer, takes us through the 45-day life cycle of the black soldier fly. This is called the climate room. And here when you come into the climate room, when you come to the climate room, what you see two dark boxes, which is actually fabric. Okay? And this is what is called a dark cage. And I will just stir them. Probably you can hear the You can hear the, yeah, so this is where we store the lava. Once they turn into a fly, they seek light. And where the light comes from is from this hole, and then they come out of that hole, and they come into this particular cage. It's nothing but a regular mosquito net kind of stuff, and we have a cage over there. What we call is the love cage. And once this gets connected to them, they all come in, populate with them. The males, the females, and everybody, they come in, reside here, and now they sit here, waiting to for partners okay you see they're very tiny tiny eggs there's some here as well there's some here as well once the eggs are laid they are moved to the neonate room after feeding on substrate feed for a total of about 25 days they turn into fully grown adult larvae the harvested larvae are then sifted and separated from manure and then dried in the ovens so this is our multi-tray dryer. Uh, this is where we, after we harvest our uh, lava and separate it from the frost, we bring it out here, load it in the trays overnight, and we dry them, totally dehydrate them, so they have a longer shelf life. This is what we get after we dry them. It's absolutely light, absolutely, totally dry kind of stuff. This is what is now we have, and this is ready for now harvesting. These dried up larvae, which is the end product, is then shipped to the miller, where they are mixed with 21 more ingredients to become the final feed for the aquaculture industry. The first application that we have focused of black soldier fly is actually the insect meal that goes for aquaculture. Today, of course, we are focused on shrimp, but it can be applied on other aquaculture as well, whether it is salmon, etc. The farming of insects is essentially the utilization of certain species of insects to efficiently convert organic waste into high quality feed. This could then serve as a viable alternative to fish meal. 
not only fulfilling critical protein requirements, needs, but also aligning with global sustainability goals. Actually, insect farming in India, it's started some recently only. So people, the insect, the interest in insect farming in India came only in the context of environmental management. Since the insect being the efficient converter, people started culturing the insect using the uh, using the insect and they started getting the meal as a byproduct. So in that way only it has started. But after that only people know that the really the nutritional profile of the insect meal matches the requirement of most of our candidate species. So in that context only insect meal is getting considerable importance particularly for use in aqua and animal feed sector and it has got a promising future. Wait, how long is it? Sir, counting is it? Ever since he was made aware of insect feed as a viable alternative to fish meal, Siva has made the switch. In addition to making his own fish feed concoctions, he has been using insect feed sourced from a farmer in Coimbatore, 350 kilometers from his village. Company feed use for that. Or 60 percent of company feed, or 40 percent of our own feed use for that. Or entire different. Animal or growth la sari, animal or health, that or periodic la or metabolic activities. Inna solla pona saapta da andha vidya sathe na mulla feel panna mudiyon taste. Rendu moonu vishya na ke kony custom thi. Availability easier andha lo kuda. Insects for up and the problem in an animal or as lengthy rumbus china the other chi other shell low bono smell low adi and gray and I like handling easy and say what you look on a regular company feed use for up a water or a quality day by day when the pollution I get there or a 25 percent of the fecal over the now by the work you love feed soft you know or 10 percent of your five percent of the fecal of the level and the vehicle alarm parker up on a key ingredient culture governor I had to go to your extra for a good ingredient minerals ah do you extra good good yeah do you product molting a good good yeah molting at it is air is an extra air is an normal company feed I use for up on a good year taxi care release for the gun on a use for a good year product or a cost it is a law make for and you're at an ala promising as it is though insect farming is still a very new concept in India among the challenges making this feed cost effective for the farmer is one of the most crucial so cost is the big factor. And then in future, those insects which are reared in this municipal waste or organic waste, we have to ensure that it is free from all kinds of our contaminants or residues or any other pathogenic. That we have to monitor and then that also we have to follow. These are all the challenges. Ultra Nutri currently has 10 clients for its insect meal product. Going forward, however, the startup is hopeful about expanding scope to more than just feed. The interesting part about insect is got other properties such as chitin. Chitin today actually comes from marine sources and is a pharmaceutical ingredient used in wound healing. Now insects can provide a very sustainable clean source of this material for the pharmaceutical industry. The other byproducts such as the insect manure itself has application in plant growth and plant disease management. So black soldier fly has application not just limited to shrimp or aquaculture but all the way to pharmaceutical ingredients as well and we are actively pursuing R&D of all of these aspects of black soldier fly. Thanks for watching Eco India. If you like the story, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to scroll.in on YouTube.